Hey, what is up? If you want to learn how to detangle your natural hair or your natural curly hair step by step, then I want you guys to stay tuned to this video. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me help you. So I'm starting to detangle my hair off on stretched hair. It's just an old protective style I took out. So you, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your hair is damp, not dripping wet or soaking wet. You just want to make sure that your hair is damp. That way you can get moisture into your hair and also it'll be so much easier to detangle. So you want to use your fingers to section your hair off into four sections. And the reason why you're, you're using your fingers instead of a comb is because we're not concentrating on detangling right now. We're just concentrating on sectioning the hair out into four sections. So I'm using a bobby pin to separate each section of my hair. And if you don't have a bobby pin, you can use clips. You can also use uh, goodies, elastic, whatever you have to separate your hair, use that. This is going to make your hair, your not your hair, but your life a lot easier so that when you detangle, it, you, none of the other hair gets into the way of the other hair that you've already detangled. So I'm almost on my last section. So I couldn't find a bobby pin, so I decided to separate my hair using an elastic. So voila. Now the, you can either use a wide tooth comb to detangle your hair or you can use a Denman brush or you can use um, some form of oil. I decided to shea butter or leave-in, whatever you want to use to moisturize your hair. So I'm going to take down my first section and I'm going to separate that into a smaller section, but I'm spraying my hair down with water because I feel like it has dried a little bit and I want to make sure that it's damp enough where I can get some moisture back into my hair. And water always helps with that. So I'm just pushing the water through my hair and now I'm going to apply leave-in conditioner to my hair. And like I said before, you can use whatever you like to use for um, moisturizing your hair. And the lock method to me is the best method, which is leave in a cream and an oil. But today I'm not really doing any of that because I already had a style in my hair and I just I have products already in my hair. So I'm just showing you guys an example of what to do. So you're not detangling your hair. Don't worry if you have knots or anything in it. You're just trying to put product in it. So do not worry about if it has knots or whatever. And I just slapped myself in the eye with my hair. So as you guys can see, my hair is starting to revert back. And now I am taking the shea butter, raw shea butter, and I'm going to moisturize my hair with that. Do you guys prefer raw shea butter over the cream form of shea butter let me know in the comments below i prefer the raw i just like it because i feel like it's actually working in my hair versus the cream i don't know it just doesn't feel as moisturized but let me know in the comments below of what you like to use so now i'm just um making sure that the shea butter has gotten into my hair by the way it's gonna leave a white kind of cast on my hair that's okay when it's fully dry you won't see that so I'm telling you that you are going to repeat on in each section so let's go to the next using your fingers or a comb or a Denman brush you're going to detangle your hair which tool works best for you but I'm going to show you by working from the bottom all the way to the top I'm going to use each one of those tools. So the first section, I am going to use a comb to detangle my hair. So wherever you can find oh, a wide tooth comb, I was looking for my comb and I couldn't find it, but I'm going to use my wide tooth comb and stop, start from the bottom 
and you want to really really pull kind of tight to make sure that you don't go back over your your hair too many times and cause breakage but you just want to make sure that your hair is smooth enough for the comb to just glide through and I'm showing you with my hand that my hair is detangled so after you do the first section then you want to go to the second section and this this section right here I'm going to be using a denim brush by the way this can this method can be used on thick hair fine hair whatever hair you can detangle your hair using this method I know because I've done that on clients before so now I want to tell you about the denim brush it is an awesome tool to use if you want to detangle your hair not only does it help with the smoothing of it it does push the products through your hair and if you're looking um, to define your hair or group your curls together the, the Denman brush does that too and I'm just showing you guys how it's brushing the product through my hair and as you guys can see it just tried to group all of my curls together there, and by the way, my curls are not in its natural state like it normally is, only because I had a protective style and it's not fully reverted. So now I'm using my fingers to detangle it. Sort of like when you're doing the shingling method, you separate each piece of your hair. So I'm doing that first, and then I'm going to take my hand and rake from the bottom and then move all the way up now I will tell you this guys I really don't like finger combing for my hair but I'm just showing you guys exactly how it would turn out if you wanted to finger um, detangle your hair and it actually elongates it a little bit so looking at both sections I mean all three sections which one would you use the wide tooth comb the Denman brush or your fingers so the key here is the more that you do this method, the more your hair gets used to it. So you just want to make this an everyday routine. So after a while, your your knots will decrease and it just will be a lot easier for you because I got a lot of questions on, ooh, I'm not questions, but a lot of people said down in the comments that my hair is so soft, it's so easy to manage. Well, this is why. It, I have been doing this routine for the longest so just make this a routine in your everyday natural hair uh, life it'll make your life a lot easier so last thing is please be patient with your hair I'm demonstrating like you know whenever you get a knot in your hair or something like that don't get discouraged just work through it try to figure out another thing to use maybe it's your product that's causing your hair to knot up maybe it's the tool that you're using but just be patient with your hair that's how we all learn and now as you guys can see this is the end result i hope you guys enjoyed this video please share it with someone that you love or friend and as always i thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time